So uh, when the cup got dropped off here, we hung out in my house for you know, the first hour. Then we went to my childhood rink, uh, Keith Bodley Community Center. Um, had some friends and family, uh, and there some youth hockey teams there, which was pretty awesome. The uh, building hasn't changed. Uh, brought back some good memories. Mark started here with mum and tot skate. He would go to kindergarten in the morning and we'd be skating in the afternoon. And this is where they started, where he started and his brother started uh, their hockey careers. I'm telling you, this rink has not changed a lick. Like the plank is still up there. They went over there. We, it was like a race to get there if you're watching your brother's games, you know, like to get to the plank, you know. It brings back a lot of good memories. It really does. They, like Mark spent every day in that rink during the winter. Like, I don't think there was a day go by that he wasn't in a rink, either in a rink or on an outdoor rink. I mean, I I spent, I don't know how many nights with, uh, you know, the parents out there snow blowing the outdoor rinks for the kids for the next day. And yeah, and the tournaments here we had, it was, it was, it was good and close to home. Yeah, I mean, obviously Winnipeg's a big city, right? So um, it's not really that tight-knit feel, but when you get into kind of like a, into a neighborhood uh, type setting, you kind of get that tight-knit feel. So between that community center um, and the high school, um, that was my closest thing to a small town. So um, that's why I wanted to do it. Definitely the original, as you can see, it's really banged up. Oh yeah. We're actually the first team that they've put on before the tour, so we went on here. So we got, where am I? The, right there. You know, like we get a lot of kind of hockey hopefuls through and I always tell them about like the way Mark was back in the day and just like a good student, nice kid, nice guy. Not, not arrogant in any way, just an awesome, Kid dab in class is yeah. my memory of Mark. Our big thing here was we have a teacher floor hockey team, and so um, it was always fun when the when the dub kids like Mark would come back and we'd have these good battles with them. So the teacher team was always in the finals against these top end uh, <laughs> floor hockey teams with all these dub players. So yeah, it was good. I, I definitely remember that, and we probably joked about it at the time whether you know he was going to make it big or not. And sure enough, like. Here we are 15 years later and he's got a cup and he's back at his school. Look at it, it's unbelievable. Rocky one. Uh, that, that's been damaged quite a bit, but there's the hitman and this was us right here. Oh, T Drag. That's us. Miller. Had a really tight bond at that school, you know. Um, all those teachers we played uh, floor hockey against, uh, tons of intramurals. Um, so it was fun to kind of get back and, and share some memories. That's what was cool about, you know, there being, you know, 50 people there I could spend. Uh, you know, five, ten minutes with each of them and just you know, go over some, go, go back and, and see some of the memories. You okay, bud? You okay, buddy? Hey, Mom. <laughs> she is hot enough. How does that feel on your feet? <laughs> First time she's touched grass, probably. <laughs> Went to my, uh, childhood house that we grew up, me and my brother lived there. I mean, me and my brother never lived anywhere else. Uh, it was the house we grew up in. We were lucky that the, uh, the new owners were sitting on the, on the patio, so we were able to get some pictures in front of the house and, uh, and share a funny memory with them. I'm Mark. Mark, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Hi. I'm Mark, Hi. nice to meet you. How's the house? It's good. Yeah, go. yeah, that's awesome. You guys left, you guys left no. the house. Wow, those are both mine, eh? Yeah, they're not mine. There you go. Things in the back garage door too, I see. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No worries, thanks for letting us come here. <laughs> and we're heading to my country club that uh, me and my dad's been a member there for almost 40 years. I've been there since uh, I was like 13 years old. that extra half day you know I wanted to do something uh, to, to lighten some people's day and I, I thought that Children's Hospital uh, reaching out to them here here in in Winnipeg these kids might never get this opportunity to have something like that so um, if I can uh, do something to, to make uh, you know somebody smile it's your uh, go-to post-game meal I think it would be a nice big burger 
getting the hang of it though. Oh. You know, I'm a pretty low key guy, so uh, most of the days I'm pretty, pretty low key, just to taking, uh, uh, taking some time, looking at the names on it, and just enjoying it to, uh, with, with my family. Where I grew up, uh, there's a lot of cool places I wanted to see where uh, I haven't been in, in quite some time uh, as stepping stones to, to get to get to get to this point. Yeah.